What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks, you know who it is. You see the pretty face behind the sunglasses. Mr. Warmack, and I'm definitely in the building. And today, uh, hold on, man. Let me bring in uh, uh, somebody who had the same question. He had the same look I had when I heard this question and this topic posed. Come on in. Good luck, Jonathan, everybody, President of Nigeria. And he's wondering the same thing I'm wondering. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that was brought up by none other than this person right here. Rem Simone. And as you know, she was a child actor on Cosby Show and many other sitcoms and a couple films here and there in Disney. Now, she brought up the topic about how she won't hire any ghetto named people. Uh, she, I mean, she made she made the name Waterman was Drandia or whatever. I mean, we all know that's one of the obvious ones. Like, okay, but instead of dealing with the real topic at hand, people wanted to talk about her hair, about her lipstick, about her being gay. You know, the usual the usual stuff that like doesn't have nothing to do with the topic. And there's a lot of us that were saying, "Why are you mad at her? Because this happens in the real world." Although you can't prove it, we all know that this happens in the real world where they don't want to hire anybody because they have one of them ghetto names. I mean, it's just how it is. I mean, we can't. Let me see what we used to. We used to we, I mean, I don't mean like the key, there's a lot of keys at work, there's a lot of drones at the third. But when you start making up names, like say, say you and your girlfriend, like, Jordans, and you name your girl, your your son, you name your daughter Jordan Mika. Yeah, that's the obvious one. You know where that goes straight to the trash. Now, now, should it? No, I'm not saying it should. But if you're not willing to give your kid a heads up on life, that's your fault. Don't blame you. Let me make it, let me make it clear. If you know they do this, and you still name your kid, like I said. I mean one of the obvious messed up ghetto names. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean one of these names that you just made up. And now I'm talking about a ghetto name that's so bad, even black people look at you like, what? That you that that name right there is you're setting your child up for failure. And if you don't understand this, you shouldn't be arguing the point about well her hair is messed up, or she's gay. Well, she's right or wrong. She's right. What are you gonna do about it? You gonna start naming your kids these messed up names? No, okay, it's your, it's your, it's your, it's your, I mean, it's your prior, prerogative, I mean, prerogative, prerogative, excuse me, folks, I got a cold here, but to do that, you have to expect what's going to happen to them. Now, I don't justify this, I don't think, I think it's wrong myself, but at the same time, I'm not going to name my son, you know, like one name, Malcolm Jerome, Luther, Kwanda, you know, Kwanda, you know, Allah, you know, one day, that's his first name. I'm not going to do that because I'm not, I'm not helping my kid out. I'm not helping any of my kids out give them a messed up name. And I mean an obvious messed up name. People are going to say, well, it shouldn't matter. Well, it, you're right, it shouldn't matter. But it does. That's the point you're not getting. And everybody said, well, what about when we're going to hire the Raven? Boy, Raven has a talent. Raven has one thing that you don't, and that's money. And money makes a lot of stuff. If, if, I, if, if my name was uh, Allah and Shore, and I had $8 billion, $8 trillion, Nobody would care about my name, you know why? I got eight jobs. I can buy you. The fact of the matter is, money and fame negates everything. So, if you want to get your head to start life, quit naming them. <coughs> excuse me. Quit naming these, these ghetto names. And then, when someone makes the argument to you, quit. Quit. I'm going to say, well, her hair's messed up. Okay, she got, she, she got a mess. What's that, what's, that, what's that got to do with her point? If you can't handle it a lot, get somebody else who can. Alright, I'm out. Peace.